Good morning. I hope you're all well. We're continuing in our series, Hymns of Hope for the Thought for the Day. I was asked to think about my favourite hymn and to just say a few words about it. And I'll be honest, it didn't take me too long to decide which one to choose. I've chosen Yes, Finished, The Messiah Dies. It's a pretty old hymn, one which I don't think we sing enough. This incredible song contains some amazing words and truths and I often find myself getting quite emotional when we sing it. It was written by Charles Wesley, the famous hymn writer, in 1762. It's reported that Wesley wrote over 6,000 hymns throughout his life, but this one was thought to be one of his favourites. He actually revised it multiple times before finally completing it in 1788, apparently on his deathbed. It has a full eight verses, however we tend to sing a four verse version. Now I've got not, I haven't got time this morning to go through all of the verses, so I just want to focus on the final verse. A verse which speaks of the eternal hope that awaits. Just listen to these words. In Christ accepted and brought near, and clothed in righteousness divine. I see the path to life made clear, and all your merits, Lord, are mine. Death, hell and sin are now subdued. All grace is now to sinners given. And so I plead the atoning blood and claim the title deeds of heaven. So we often use the word hope in day-to-day -day conversation. For example, we recently moved house and the whole process from choosing the house we wanted to finally having the keys in our hand took over six months. During this time, there was lots of waiting and hoping, hoping that the offer would be accepted, hoping that we wouldn't be outbid, hoping that the buyers wouldn't pull out, hoping that the surveys would be okay, hoping that the whole thing would go ahead. <clears throat> in earthly terms, the word hope means a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing to happen, or grounds for believing that something good may happen. It isn't certain, it's wanting something that might happen. But the hope expressed by Wesley and described in the Bible has quite a different character to it. Biblical hope is the confident expectation of what God has promised. We accept this eternal hope as sure and certain. Let's go back to that last verse, which is a beautiful summary of our redemption story and an incredible truth that we can have a certain hope in. In Christ accepted and brought near and clothed in righteousness divine, I see the path to life made clear and all your merits, Lord, are mine. Because of Jesus' death, we are accepted into God's holy presence. He clothes us in his righteousness because of the grace of God, undeserved and unearned. God the Father now looks at us and sees not our sin, but only his perfect son. And as a result of this miraculous transaction, death, hell and sin are now subdued. All grace is now to sinners given. And so I plead the atoning blood and claim the title deeds of heaven. Death, hell and sin are defeated. And we receive the reward that was earned by Jesus, the inheritance of heaven. I mentioned earlier, these words were likely written by Wesley on his deathbed, which makes the words all the more meaningful. Nearing death, he had a certain hope that when his eyes closed on this life, they would open in the presence of God and he would receive the gift of eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 3 and 4 says this, According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is unperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you. Pause for a minute and just reflect on the inheritance that is waiting in heaven for you right now. As we near the date of our house move, just before we receive the keys for our house, we receive through the post a really official looking document. It was the title deeds for our home. And there at the top were our names. We were now the official owners of the property. It was legal and it was binding. This is the same language that Wesley uses to describe the glorious inheritance that we will receive when we die. Certain, sure, legally binding. If you're a Christian, if you have placed your trust in Jesus, his death and resurrection, if you walk the path of life made clear by him, you will receive the title deeds of heaven. This is the sure and certain hope that we have to look forward to. I want to encourage you today, if you can, to find a version of this hymn there's a few on YouTube. Sit and listen to the incredible words and just reflect on the amazing truth today. Thank you. I hope you have a really good week.